What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video, and let's start getting into it. All right, guys, um, there have been a lot of people in the past day talking about how the feds are back at the Bundy Ranch. There's a lot of rumors. No one's confirming it. People are saying, well, I saw a video on YouTube, so I am going to assume that's real. This is not coming from sources of people that are actually there. So I'm actually a little... Surprised and disappointed that the majority of people didn't stop and think, well, let's call the Clark County Sheriff's Office and get verification if this is accurate or not. We shouldn't just believe in something just because somebody said something. So let's call, and I'm going to do it actually, you know, live so you could see. And there's obviously the number, because I had this number posted. Yes, hi. Um, my name is Chris. I've actually been uh, reporting on my... I have a YouTube channel where I do a lot of like updates and news of what's going on. Um, there was a problem over at the Bundy Ranch, and supposedly um, all of the BLM agents left the other day. Um, I've been getting some rumors that I've been hearing from people, and I wanted to call the source and actually get accurate information, where they're saying that tons of FBI agents are all, the show, all of a sudden showing up with, like, prison buses and things like that. So I wanted to confirm and make sure if that's an accurate statement or something that's just rumor going around on the Internet. If there was something like that happening, it wouldn't be Metro, it would be BLM. Right. Well... Oh, no, that, that's, that's good because, like I said, there's a lot of people on YouTube that are showing, like, videos of, like, hundreds of police cars. So if something like that were to happen, you would know about that where you are, right? Sure. Okay. So that's what I figured because um, I was hearing from people that it's kind of old footage people are using. And, you know, people love misinformation on the Internet. So I thought, thought call the source and get the direct information from you. So all right. I, all right. Yeah. So um, well, if you say right off the bat that it's not gonna, it's not there, then I'm gonna go with your word for now. And if there's anything else, I can call them. Um, if okay. you can give me the number, I'd appreciate it. Sure, just one sec. Let me find it in my handy dandy, not so helpful phone book. <laughs> um, you must be uh, crazy with phone calls at this point. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's what I figured because obviously, if they all came back the way some of these people are trying to portray, you would have probably been flooded with hundreds of calls. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it just shows there are people that like to believe anything that they see without verifying it. And I'm one of those people. I try and speak a lot of truth on my channel. So uh -huh. I figure the best thing to do is to swell that stuff before it becomes some panic. And then, you know, people can get hurt that way. Well, what is your YouTube? Because you're the only one that I've found to uh, actually <laughs> want to confirm things before they put it on there. Uh, You'd be amazed. Um, I have a channel. It's called Barnon, B-A-R-N-O-N-E. One one nine seven zero. It's it's okay. it's all one word. It's bar nine eleven nine seventy. Um, I talk about all this stuff. I've been trying to get people to understand what it's really all about and how you have to really pay attention to what's going on. And unfortunately, I, I've been doing this since about two thousand eleven. And including myself, back in the days, we tend to believe everything that we hear at first without verification. So I learned the hard way. So now my channel is dedicated to making sure that things, accurate information is coming into play. Well, good. You're, you might be something I keep on my own phone just to make sure I'm getting some real stuff. Oh, oh, you'd be amazed. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Act of 1871. I have a video that I have. It's got over about 55,000 views at this point that really tells why the government, uh, the FBI, and people are doing the things that they're doing. So if you ever get the chance, I'd highly recommend checking it. It, it will blow your mind what happened in this country back in the 1870s. Let me give you that number. Thank you. It's 702-828-3394. Great. I, I really appreciate that. And again, thank you for letting us know what's really going on there. Because I, I had a feeling from what I was hearing that it was just scare tactics, and I wanted to confirm it. So thank you for being there with the with the updated okay. information. Take care. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen... This is something I want people to learn a great lesson with. Now, I want you to share this information. 
I want you to share this video and get this out so this way we don't spread rumors. And like I said when I was talking to that lady, when I first started my original channel, Barn on 11967, I was one of those people that, well, I saw it on the internet or I heard it from somebody. It must be genuine. It must be accurate. Only to find out the hard way that if you don't do your own verifications, that's how rumors start. That's how situations go. And you could see this as some kind of psyop because the people that were sending me links, I'm not saying they're the bad people because they're trying to get out information, but the videos they were showing were people like from Storm Clouds Gathering, Dabu7, Alex Jones. These are known fear porn channels. They talk about always death and destruction, how everybody's out to kill you. And what is it doing? It's getting 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 views. So these people are using sensationalism to get you to pass on their channels. That to me is not ethical. That's not integrity. So there's a reason why channels like mine and others that really speak accurate truth to the best of their ability with the best of intentions are not getting lots of views because it's not fantastic. It's not sexy. It's not, oh my God, I got to react. So if this doesn't teach you to verify, you're putting yourselves in very bad situations because People like the government will use these scenarios to confuse people and distract them. So while everybody's focusing on a rumor and something that hasn't happened, who knows what they're doing somewhere else that we could be paying attention to. And considering just two or three days ago, I posted a video with the link to the phone number of the sheriff for no one else to call. And you heard that lady say, I was the only one that actually called to confirm this. It shows how easily influenced the internet can be to even giving misinformation. So if this doesn't confirm that my channel is about truth, I don't know what else to say at this point. I may not get everything right. I might, I not, might not be some angel who is perfect. But my intentions are to try and make sure that people educate themselves and protect themselves. Because otherwise, you're going to see something on the news. They can cut out certain parts of the, of the, the footage. They could misquote people they could set them up and put it in a different part of a conversation they could flat out lie but just because you see something does not mean it is really the way it is because some people are showing me footage of somebody filming a whole bunch of um, vehicles coming in well from what i understand that was older footage when they were coming to take down the stuff and bring back the cattle okay but you don't hear that in the video they make it sound like oh this is just happening so if you want to be misled, then just listen and believe to whatever you see, read, and hear, and wonder why things don't change. Or you could say, wait a minute, even if this stuff is true, let me verify it, because it could be wrong. And you heard with that conversation that that woman is saying that she would know, because she's in that county, if there were hundreds of cop cars all of a sudden coming in. So I don't even need to verify the other number. But if you guys want to do that, that is a great way to go. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, I highly recommend you do because, like I said, I may not get everything right, but I'm trying my best to not mislead people. I don't use sensationalism to try and get pe thousands of people to my channel. So those bigger channels, they're basically either, well, in a way, they're lying to you because they're saying something that isn't true. And if you want to believe them just so they can sucker you in, so they can make tons of money off of you by using fear to control... That is your option. I'm setting the world straight. I'm doing the best that I can. What are you doing? So become part of the Barnon Nation, and I'll do my best to try and give the most accurate information I can. Doesn't mean I'm going to get everything right. Doesn't mean I'm some saint. But it does mean my heart is in the right place, and I will do the best that I can to help my fellow Americans and fellow people around the world. So you know what? That lady actually wanted and asked for my YouTube channel. Because she appreciated the fact that I was the only one that actually cared enough to want to give out good information. What does that tell you about the rest of the world? Make your own judgments, people. Give this a thumbs up. Share it and favor it. And if you're not part of the Barnon Nation, come join by hitting the subscribe button. And let's do things the right way, guys. Stop spreading rumors. That's how governments take advantage of gullible people or very trusting people. And believe me, I was once one of those people. Never again. Thanks for watching. Peace.